great job playing the Celeste. It's almost like playing the piano. It looks like a piano, but it sounds like bells. I love that bell sound. The dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy music comes from my absolute favourite Christmas ballet, the Nutcracker. everyone. Now don't forget to bring a Christmas treat for the party after the show. I'll be bringing my homemade sugar <gasps> plums, of course. Oh, great, yes. Yummy. I'll bring biscuits. Oh, and I can bring some cheese. My mum and I are going to make a gingerbread house. Mmm, sounds good. Marco, AJ, do you want to help us bake? Yes, that'll be cool. Good. We just need to pick up the ingredients first. Come on. And a bag of raisins. Um, and four pints of milk. There. That's everything your mother said she needs. Thank you, Mrs Thimble. You're very welcome. Now, don't spill the milk. Here, help yourself to some candy canes to celebrate Christmas time. Wow! Thanks! Candy canes are my favourite. Mine too. Mm. 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 Did you know the biggest candy cane ever made was over 58 feet tall? Very cool! I wish this were 58 feet tall. <laughs> I am so lucky to have three excellent helpers today. The gingerbread smells so good. Well, thanks to your hard work, we have a gingerbread house for the party and a batch of gingerbread mouselings to enjoy later. <gasps> Wait, can we have a biscuit right now, please? Pretty please. Super duper extra pretty please. How can I say no to super duper extra pretty please? Enjoy. And good luck at the showcase tonight. <gasps> Aren't you going to have some? What? Oh. Aren't you going to have some gingerbread, AJ? It looks really good, but would your mum mind if I have this apple instead? An apple? I try to eat more fruit than sweets. Especially before a performance. Hmm. You're really not going to eat that? No. Okay, more for us. Best tasting mittens ever. Mmm, scrumptious boots too. No thanks. Good stuff. Me too. And I can't wait to dance in the show tonight. In fact, I think I'll do my dance right now. It's here, it's here. 
this magic time of year when the candles burn so bright. Surprise, surprise, just open up your eyes, see candy canes all red and white. Presents round the Christmas tree, there'll be some for you and me. Yes, it's Christmas time, the best time of the year. We love Christmas time, when everybody's here. Yes, it's Christmas time. Cake. Oh, so do I. It's really bad. Are you two okay? I think we ate too much. I feel awful. My stomach is really, really full. And it's almost time for the show. Oh, yes. We better hurry back to the school. Can you pair make it? Slow down, AJ. It hurts when I walk. Oh, no. I'd better go on ahead and tell Miss Mimi you're on your way. Feel better, you two. What happens if we don't feel better? Don't worry, I can always dance, no matter what. Angelina, Marco, there you are. AJ told me you weren't feeling well. I was getting worried you wouldn't show up. We made it, Miss Mimi. Just barely. Do you think you can still perform? Uh, I think so. Of course we can. Great. The dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy is up first. And remember, light and airy. Just like in rehearsal. Light and airy. Right. Okay. No. Oh, problem. The audience really enjoyed the Christmas showcase, even though two of our performers weren't at their best. Oh. Angelina and Marco, are you feeling any better? Mm. I do hope so. Now it's time for our Christmas party! to play the castanets. 
Did you know that Spanish dancers hold castanets in their hands and click them as they dance? You're cheating, Marco. You're not holding them in your hands. My hands aren't quite big enough yet. This helps. It's a castanet machine. It doesn't look like any machine I've ever seen. Uh, it's not really a machine. It's just castanets attached to this block of wood. See? They can click really fast and play cool rhythms. And a one, two, three. Whee! Yes! And a one, two, three. Whee! Yes! And plie. Now I just need to make my gingerbread house and I'm ready for Dance Like a Cake Day. Add eggs to the sugar and the flour. Blend until light and creamy. What kind of cake are you making, Angelina? I'm making a gingerbread house that goes with my dance. But Hansel and Gretel didn't live in a gingerbread house. I know that, Polly. But the witch locked them up in her gingerbread house. But they tricked her in the end and ran away. I get it. A birthday dance would match a birthday cake. Where was I? Did I add the eggs? And a football cake? would go with a football dance, wouldn't it, Angelina? And a Christmas cake would go with a Christmas dance. Mum, my gingerbread cake is ready to go into the oven. <laughs> OK, Angelina, it won't be long. I can't wait! Angelina, your cake is ready. <laughs> Watch out, girls, it's hot. <gasps> oh, no! I'll never be able to make a gingerbread house out of that. Oh, dear. <sighs> I'm sorry, Angelina. What am I going to do now? Why don't you go and see how your friends are getting on while I try and work out what went wrong with your cake? Okay, Mum. Boom, buddha, boom, boom, tsh. Boom, buddha, boom, boom, tsh. Boom, buddha, oh, yeah! AJ, can I be in your upside down dance? Why not? Thanks, AJ. Sideways, Angelina! Move forward! I can only go sideways! Oh, oh. Who ever heard of a silly sideways dance? My gingerbread cake's ruined, Alice. Can I practice with you? Maybe I'll get an idea for a new cake and dance. Of course you can, Angelina. What cake will you make now? <gasps> I'll make a jam roll cake to go with my forward roll. <gasps> Watch out, Angelina! Oh. oh, oh, I squashed your lunch. Oh, I shouldn't have left my packed lunch there. I'm so sorry, Alice. <sighs> 
everything I try to do is a mess. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to dance like a cake. to do. Where do oranges come from? Oh. What does that say? They're Spanish oranges, Polly. They come from Spain. Hmm? What's that noise? recipe that uses Spanish oranges? Hmm. Yes, here it is. Orange and oat cake. Mum, will you please make the cake for me while I learn a new dance? Of course, Angelina. Good luck. Thanks. dance? Of course. Um, but the flamenco is a really complicated dance. I know, but I'm sure Miss Mimi could teach me some easy steps. Clap and turn and dig your heel. <laughs> Clap and turn and dig. Oh, stupendous, Alice. You can do all the steps I make up. Even the really hard ones. Alice, Alice and, and Angelina, Angelina, friends forever! <laughs> to be my partner in the showcase tomorrow. It will be our first time dancing together at your new school. We have to be extra good. I have an idea. What if we end our dance with a twirl? Or a leap? Or a cartwheel? Actually, I've made up all the steps for our dance and a cartwheel is not in it. Oh, okay. Hi, girls. I came up to have a peek at your new dance. Here's a few of the steps I made up. Nice choreography, Angelina. Choreography? A choreographer creates a dance like an author creates a story. Wow! I love being a choreographer. And I know dancing makes little girls very hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. I've brought you some lovely sandwiches. Now I'm off to check on Polly. Thanks, Mum. Thank Mom. you. Poor Polly's in bed. She has the sniffles. My dad says almost everybody in Chipping Cheddar has the sniffles. But we don't. So we, we can, can dance, dance and dance. dance. Yes! Bye, Alice. See you tomorrow. This will be the best dance with a partner showcase ever. Because I have the best partner ever. Attention, dancers! 
Marco will be my helper today. Don't forget, all dancers in the Dance with a Partner Showcase must have a partner. Vicky's going to be my partner. Gracie and I are going to do a hip-hop dance, Miss Mimi. I'm dancing ballet with Alice, my absolutely, positively best friend from where I used to live. Wow! Alice is coming to the showcase. Yes. Have you and Alice been practising? Yes, a lot. I did some really fancy choreography for our dance. Well, we didn't plan ours. We make up new moves as we go along. <laughs> hey, it's fun! We just dance with the music. It's called improvising. We use steps we know, but we don't plan the order. <laughs> so our dance is a little bit new and different each time. <laughs> don't you want to improvise too, Angelina? I don't think so. You and your partner did a wonderful job in the showcase, Angelina. Congratulations! <gasps> Thank you, Miss Mimi. Your choreography was brilliant. And thank you, Angelina. We did all the steps just like you said to. And we didn't make any mistakes. Hooray! Angelina! 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 I can't find our music player and we need it for our showcase dance. I have an extra player at my house. I'll lend it to you. Oh, thank you, Angelina. Thank you. Oh, you saved me. You're such a good friend. No problem, Vicky. Hello, Angelina Ballerina speaking. Angelina, it's Alice. I have the sniffles. Isn't that horrible? So I can't be your partner and we can't be in the showcase. I'm so sorry, Alice. I hope you feel better soon. Oh, Angelina, our dance would have been incredible. <gasps> oh, I hope you find another partner. Alice, I'm so sorry. I can't believe my terrible luck. Alice got the sniffles and now I don't have a partner. What am I going to do? <gasps> Angelina! Here's your music player back. Guess what happened? Gracie can't be in the showcase. She has the sniffles. Oh, poor Gracie. Alice has them too. Oh, poor Alice. Well, see you later, then. <gasps> Vicky, wait! What if you and I become partners? <gasps> Dancing with you is going to be so amazing, Angelina. Come on, I'll teach you all of my steps. OK. And then we'll improvise. Let's try some new steps too. No, but it's fun. But you have to do the steps my way, because I'm the choreographer. Well, maybe you should dance all by yourself, Angelina Ballerina. See you later. <gasps> I 
could be great at the showcase. I know I could. <gasps> All I need is a partner who can learn my dance. Hmm. Hello. How do you do? I'm so sorry to hear Gracie has the snuffles. Miss Mimi said to tell you that you and your partner are going to dance first in the showcase. Whoa! That's your partner? Yes. But she's not real. Of course she is. She's a real dancing doll. Mm, the rules don't say no dancing dolls. Good. But they don't say they're okay either. I'm not sure about this, Angelina. Oh. It's Miss Mimi's birthday, Dad. Hi, Polly. Come on in. Miss Mimi's at school marking homework on Saturdays, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Until one o'clock. And then she walks right past the lunchtime theatre. That's where the surprise will be. Hurry! Everybody's here. Hello, Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Mouseling. Hi. Hello, Hello children. children. Now I will be Polly again. Oh, good. I missed Polly. But this is still my pretend satchel. Lovely. <laughs> Would you mind taking some muffins into Angelina's friends, please? <laughs> Your muffins are so yummy. I made a list of what we need for the party. Does your list say we need a present? Of course. If we put all our money together, we can buy something really, really nice. Uh, is it okay if I stay here while you go shopping? I'm composing a song. Composing? <laughs> composing. Creating a song. I'm writing the music. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, but it's only the beginning. I still need to write the lyrics. Lyrics? Lyrics are the words to a song, like icing on a cake. <gasps> Speaking of cakes, did you put birthday cake on the list? Of course. Mum said she'll bake one. Oh, yay! <laughs> Hooray! Marco, don't you want to jump up and down and make squeaky noises too? Um, no, thank you. OK, maybe we can help you after we get Miss Mimi her present. I can contribute. Thanks, Marco. Bye, Mum. Be careful, girls. It's a very blustery day. Oh, I hope those beautiful slippers I saw at Twinkle Toes are still there. Oh, they're so amazing. Miss Mimi's going to love them. She really will. <gasps> this is the most wonderful present ever. Thank you. It was Angelina's idea. Angelina, 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 Angelina. Angelina? <gasps> huh? What? The lady in Twinkletoes said the slippers are made of satin and somebody sewed them <gasps> by hand. But we don't have enough money. But we need to get Miss Mimi a great present to show her how much we love her. We need a present and we don't have much time left. <gasps> Wait! Those ballet slippers were made by hand. And all of us have hands. We would just need some satin. Oh, Mum has satin in her sewing basket. We, we can, can make, make the, the slippers, slippers ourselves! Yay! <laughs> Isn't that Marco's song? It is! It keeps popping into my head too! <laughs> Mum, where's the thread and ribbons? In the sewing cupboard. 
And how long before Miss Mimi's party? An hour and a half. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love your song, Marco. You're a wonderful composer. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Mouseling. A tutu instead. A tutu? Angelina, I forgot. Mum wanted you to know the cake's all done. <gasps> Miss Mimi's cake! Oh, I hope it's really big. Well, it's pretty, but I think it needs to be bigger. A lot bigger. We need a really big cake to go with our special birthday present. Vicky, help me make more cake. I'll help, I'll help. You can help me make the tutu. I can. Whoa! Add some more muffins. Squash them in. Can you please put a few more muffins in, Vicky? Thanks. And we'll need a lot of icing. Coming up. <clears throat> Of lost control. <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> oh! Whoops! <sighs> well, at least the slippers and the tutu will be nice. Oh, dear. Oh, no! What happened to the cake? What happened to the slipper? We cut it by mistake. <sighs> oh. What about the tutu? Uh, it oh. came out even worse. Oh, and we have to leave for the party in ten minutes. Um, I'll try and fix the slipper. I can help with the cake. I can lick the spoon. <laughs> And we can do a dance to my song while we work, Polly. We love you. Yes, we do. Oh, we love you. Huh? Wow, Angelina. Those lyrics are great for the song I'm writing. Somehow your music reminded me of Miss Mimi. <gasps> oh, Miss Mimi. There's still so much to do. Cake, gifts, decorations. We've got to put up balloons. There isn't even one balloon, not anywhere in this whole school. Well, I think we did a pretty good job using daisies as decorations. Miss Mimi does like flowers. <gasps> Look, the cake is here. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Angelina! Angelina! I ran out of fabric to fix the slipper. Now we don't even have a present. <gasps> Decorations, no cake, not a very good birthday party. <laughs> we can't have a birthday party without a cake. We could use my muffin as a cake. 
Thanks, Polly. Polly, what else is in that bag? Lots of things. It's my pretend satchel. Please, can Vicky and Gracie sleep over? Please, please? Oh, Angelina, are you sure a sleepover is a good idea? Why not? Well, for one thing, they shouldn't even be called sleepovers because nobody ever sleeps. We will sleep. I promise. Also, your dad is out of town and not here to watch you girls. We won't need to be watched. I promise. And you have an important rehearsal tomorrow morning for the big performance at school. That's when I get to do a very tricky double pirouette. Forget there's the carnival tomorrow, of course. That's why we must finish our hats. Please, Mum. We'll be fast asleep by nine, I promise. Well, if it's okay with Gracie and Vicky's parents. <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's just for tonight, Mum. Thanks! Oh, thanks, Mum. All the mums said yes! Mm. Tonight is going to be the best sleepover in the history of Mouseland! Can I help you make your hat, Angelina? OK, Polly. You can glue. Okie dokie. Polly! The glue goes on the hats, not on the table. Whoops. Sorry, Angelina. <sighs> Our hat making has turned into a sticky situation, so we're taking a break to practice. Ta-da! A pas de chat. That means a cat step. Ta-da! A pas de cheval. That means a horse step. Whoa, whoa! Ta-da! A pas de poly. That means a poly step. Oh! oh. Whoopsie! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a pink cheese sculpture as big as my house. <laughs> You'll need a lot of cheese. <laughs> Maybe you should sculpt something a teeny bit smaller, Angelina. And less smelly. Look, everyone. Wow. This is a painting by Cheddar Dega, a very famous artist. Did Cheddar Dega like to dance? He wasn't a dancer, but Dega used dance as inspiration for his work. You mean he painted the dancers from real life? Mm-hmm. He observed dancers in ballet class and created beautiful paintings. Because dancers are beautiful. Très belle. I would just love to be a painter like Cheddar Dega. A fabulous idea, Vicky. You mean I could? Of course. Art takes practice, just like ballet. But if you use your imagination, the sky's the limit. Does that mean everything can be pink? Even the sky. Art can be anything you want it to be. Just remember to be creative and have fun. I promise to use my imagination. And I promise to have tons of fun. Would you care to dance at this magnificent ball? The lords and the ladies have come one and all. From here it is clear while we dance and we sing Using our imaginations, we can be anything. I imagine.
legend, I'm a captain of a ship on the seas Where adventure is waiting for me A prima ballerina's all I've ever wanted to be I love to lay in the grass and gaze at the sky Finding shapes in the clouds as they float by Today I'm a painter, tomorrow a spy Maybe one day a pilot flying high in the sky We can be anything. I'm going to paint a picture of ballet dancers, just like Cheddar Degas. So, I'll need some dancers to pose for my painting. Hmm, where can I find some? I know one dancer you could use. And I know one too. The Mastropolitan Museum proudly unveils its newest masterpiece, the Angelina. Ooh. Angelina? Angelina? Oh, um... <laughs> now, you two have to stay really still. No problem. Of course. <laughs> this is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> uh -oh. My models have the giggles and the jiggles. Wow, Vicky, you're a real artist. Miss Mimi gave me the art supplies. This is an easel. It holds the canvas. And here is the most important part, the paint. You sure you have enough pink? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now, pose like this. Tondu. Tondu is too easy. But it's so beautiful. How about if I do an arabesque instead? And I'll do a passe. I don't think that's such a good idea. But why? You might get tired. Don't worry. We can hold these poses forever, right, Gracie? <laughs> Absolutely. All done. <laughs> my, my, Marco. What do we have here? My project for the art show. I've always wanted a blue base. <laughs> it sounds like your artwork has inspired your music. Yeah, a blue song is a cool song. I think our art show could use some blue bass music. Can you play that tune on the real bass? You bet! <laughs>